Hey guys, it's Gabby, and as you guys can tell by the title of this video, we are pregnant. So as I'm currently filming this, I am eight weeks according to my app, and the app that I'm using is called the Flow app. It's what I was using to track my periods and all that stuff. So I thought why not use the same app to track pregnancy. We haven't gotten to our first ultrasound yet, that's next week. So we'll probably have a better idea of where exactly I am in the pregnancy as of next Wednesday. So I found out that I was pregnant on May 15th, I believe. So it was a little over two weeks ago. So the weekend prior to me finding out, I was cramping a lot and it was about that time for me to get my period. So I was preparing mentally and all that stuff and I was like, great, another negative test. Whatever, used to it, it's been six months now, I'm over it. And I was just like mentally preparing myself for another negative and preparing for my period and all that stuff. But then Tuesday or Monday morning, I was spotting. So I was like, oh, for sure my period is coming in the next like day or two. Cause that's what usually happens. I usually get my period in the morning and I'm usually spotting the morning before so i had a pretty good routine set but not this time so it was wednesday morning when i finally was like where is my period i'm so sick of this i'm just gonna take a test just to make sure and so i got one of my little cheapo tests that i bought on amazon because i was tired of spending money on expensive tests so i finally bought like a pack of 30 of like the cheapo little stick ones and i grabbed one of those I took the test and I showered while it developed and stuff and I was like, I'll just shower and get ready and then look at it later. So now let's jump right to the clip of me finding out that I was pregnant and then we'll come back here and discuss. And I was like, you know what, let's just disappoint ourselves one more time for yet another month and just take one of these cheapo pregnancy tests. I haven't seen it yet, but um, let me set you guys down because you're kind of heavy and I'm weak. So this lighting is not very flattering like at all. <laughs> but. Um, okay, we're gonna take a look at it, and if it's negative, whatever, been there, done that, over it. Oh my god, I hope I'm not touching the, the P end. <laughs> it says, there's two lines this time. <laughs> oh god, I gotta do the beauty guru hand so this thing can focus. until Friday night when he drives up here. I want to tell him in a cute way. I don't want... Oh, God. What am I going to tell my mom and my dad? I mean, I'm married, so it's not like, what the hell are you doing? But still. Okay, I have to go because I need to get ready for work. I mean, it takes me like 35 minutes and I have to leave in like 20, so. Just one more time so that you guys can see I'm not crazy and that that is two lines. It's not like a super dark line, but it's pretty dark compared to like other videos I've seen and just what I'm usually used to seeing, which is no line. So that is for sure a positive. Before we get too excited and start planning a bunch of stuff, let's take another test and just make sure and use like a real test this time. So I use a first response test instead of one of those cheapo little like plastic stick things. These were the results and this appeared after like 10 seconds. So I'm definitely pregnant because that line showed up very quickly. So as you guys see by the video, I was very emotional because I was not expecting it. Even though we had been planning this pregnancy for the past six months, it was still unexpected because we had been so used to getting negative tests. I was month after month taking a test and getting no results. Like I was ready to see a specialist for infertility and I would just called my mom and I was like, I can never have a baby, blah, 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 blah. And she was like, relax, Gabby, like, please chill. And Holden kept reassuring me, like, we're young, you're only 21, I'm only 25, like, our bodies are in peak conditions, I'm sure we're fine, let's just keep trying, if you want to see a specialist, we can, but I doubt that we have anything to worry about. So we actually had seen a specialist and gotten, like, blood work done and everything, and we were both perfectly fine. And, um, it was, like, a few weeks later that we were about to start taking, like, um, fertility drugs and stuff, because we were about to start taking letrozole. Until I found out, as you guys saw, that I am pregnant, so no longer have to see the fertility specialist. So as it turns out, it was just bad timing or just took some adjustments or something like that for my hormones from birth control. I don't know. It took a while. Not as long as some others take, which we're grateful for, but for us it took a long time. So we are both very excited to start this new chapter of our lives of parenthood. And I'm actually due January 2020. 
But I hope you guys are as excited as we are because we are over the moon. So excited to have to not have to worry about trying and stuff like that anymore. So I will be uploading this video first and then uploading Holden's reaction because I did record all that because of course I wanted you guys to see and also keep it from my memories. So if you guys want to see update videos about baby bumps, symptoms, stuff that we're getting along the way, then leave a comment down below saying you guys would like to see updates. But if you guys don't want to, I understand this is not a baby channel, so it'd be very weird for me to start bombarding you guys with baby stuff. But if you guys don't mind, I would love to upload stuff like that and just keep it for memories because you guys have been with me since... I've been uploading since middle school, so gotta keep it going. But that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!